we got to go on a trip to Falls Lake State Park in North Carolina in between Durham and Wake Forest. We got there right towards the end of the day, so we had enough time to set up camp and hang out for a little bit in this 300 plus campsite state park. Very beautiful area, surrounded by huge lakes. Boating is a massive activity around here. We set up, we filmed our Will It S'more video, and then we just kind of chilled by the fire and called it a night. After a calm and relaxing night of sleep, we got up and faced the day. We headed out. There are numerous trails and we wanted to check them out. They have a beach, they have fishing piers, so we headed out. Late winter, not much blooming except these Carolina pines, but that's okay. The scenery was beautiful. The lake is absolutely gorgeous, and you can tell how in the spring and summer this thing really shines as an epic place to visit. We stopped by some of the big picnic shelters where they have two-sided fire pits and plenty of room for people. These are really great. Falls Lake is known for ticks. I'm not going to lie to you about that. We were there previously, ticks were everywhere. Luckily in the winter, the ticks weren't that bad. Let me get to this fishing pier. This thing was absolutely amazing. It gave me the opportunity to try out my new retractable fishing pole that I will have in an upcoming video to let you know how that thing works and if it's worth investing in. The fish weren't really biting, it was kind of cold. We went back, enjoyed the fire. Got up the next morning, had these eggs and bacon and some coffee, filmed our dirt cake Oreo video, and then headed out on the trails again. There are numerous trails here, and they are all easy and not hard to walk. We went down to the beach area. We had been here once before. Obviously, the seasonality shows that there's not very many people there, but it's still a nice little place to visit. Then we headed over to the visitor center and this place was really cool. Did you know there's chicken crossings? I didn't know that. Anyway, the visitor center was really neat. They have a really long pier behind it. It's not really big enough to fish off of unless you're by yourself. But as you can see, I walked out there, amazing 360 degree views. Absolutely loved this spot. All right, we're driving back to our site. We went to the visitor center, went down to the beach. Now we're gonna go get another cup of coffee and get ready to hit some trails. After hitting more trails, we tried out our new Coleman grill and I'll let you know how that went in a future video. Then we chilled by the fire and started out again the next day. The next morning we wanted to check out the marina. Like I mentioned earlier, this place is huge for boating and the marina is talked about as being a really cool place to check out. Renting kayaks, paddle boards, boats, you name it. After that, we headed back to our campsite, chilled by the fire, and then we got ready to pack up. But before we left, we made breakfast and just hung out, took it easy, and then made plans for our next trip. 